Cooperation. Now granted an extension to Britain's Kingdom membership of the European Union, Prime Minister Theresa May told Parliament it was something she'd never wanted. The choices we face are stark and the timetable is clear. I believe we must now press on at pace with our efforts to reach a consensus on a deal that is in the national interest. I welcome the discussions that have taken place with the opposition in recent days and the further talks which are resuming today. <laughs> this is not the normal way of British politics. And it is uncomfortable for many in both the government and opposition parties. The six-month Brexit extension the EU has given the UK was longer than Mrs May had wanted, but shorter than that suggested by European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker and other leaders. The compromise was because of French President Emmanuel Macron. He'd said a long delay would undermine the project of European integration. <laughs> UK opposition Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn described the need for a second extension to Brexit as a diplomatic failure, but he said he was committed to continued talks with the government. Labour will continue to engage constructively in talks because we respect the results of the referendum and we are committed to defending jobs, industry and living standards by delivering a close economic relationship with the European Union and securing frictionless trade with improved rights and standards. Mr Corbyn also left open the option of calling for a referendum on any deal agreed with the government. If the political parties agree a way forward, then the UK could avoid taking part in European parliamentary elections and leave the EU before the October 31st deadline. Even if both sides do find some way of coming together, the EU withdrawal deal will still contain a clause guaranteeing an open border between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic, whatever happens in future EU-UK negotiations. And it's this backstop that has prevented previous attempts by the Prime Minister to get her deal through Parliament. And so far, there's no indication that MPs will be any less divided on this in six months than they are now. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, London.